everyone, it's been a long time that I have made videos. So today I'm going to show you what Linux is store that work for you. Because if you look at the video on YouTube, on TikTok, you will see tons and tons of video uh, explaining to you this distro is better than that distro, that distro has more technical things, this distro is better, this distro is the blah, 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 blah. The norm is better, this desktop environment is better than that desktop environment. Those are misleading. If you are new to Linux, if you want to use Linux, if you are switching from other operating system like Windows and Mac and want to use Linux, what exactly Linux distro, which, which Linux distro should I use? Because there are tons of it. There's a lot of it. Like if you look at this, if you look at this, a lot of Linux distro and a lot of misleading information on YouTube and TikTok on Facebook and a lot more. So the fathers of Linux, like Red Hat, Give birth to Fedora, give birth to Nobara, whatever. That being give birth to Ubuntu, Subuntu, Lubuntu, Top OS, Linux, Min, or a lot, a lot of OpenSUSE. So, which Linux distro should I use? But you have to ask yourself if you are a content creator, whether you are a media creator, whether you are a 3D animation or 3D or gaming or whatever, choose exactly what need for you. And please, do not be a distro hopper. A distro hopper is like a rolling stone that catch no mosses. So, hey, you're trying to talk a lot. You, you you seem to be talking a lot. So what exactly is the distro that suit that would work for me? Any distro that come pre-installed with NVIDIA driver is the best one for you if you are using NVIDIA graphic card. So what are the distro that come pre-installed with NVIDIA? So the first one is Nobara. Nobara is the what I say, a Fedora clone, uh, and it work. Just work. It click, 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 next, 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 and and the latest NVIDIA is always installed for you. So very simple. You don't have to turn around for other uh, stores or to consult the document. It when you just install, it just work. And uh, don't care about the hard disk. Don't care about the B or TFF don't care about the XFF don't care about the extend EXT4. It doesn't make your computer go as fast as Superman or the Flash. It just it it does nothing at all. The 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 percentage of benchmark the the fastest is very very small. You will not notice that. So what else? What else from Fedora? Uh, what else from Nobara? You. On the Red Hat side, you have uh, Nobara. On the Debian or Ubuntu side, you have Top OS. This guy work. I mean, it, it, it just come pre-installed with NVIDIA driver. Uh, if you are using AMD, I do not know. AMD driver, I do not know. But I have the AMD uh, CPU. I have my old graphic card of 20, you see here, NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, 2070 Mac Q. It just worked. So uh, if you are using, uh, if you are a content creator, just use this kind of Linux that come pre-installed. So what about like uh, Linux Mint? Uh, Linux Mint doesn't come pre-installed, but it has a button that allows you to click and install NVIDIA driver, right? Very simple. Choose any distro that come with this kind of thing. How about OpenSUSE? OpenSUSE, even though it's depend on RPM of Red Hat, but it has its own packages. It has its own library. It has its own, you know, arsenal that allows you to do whatever you want. It just in the yes, the yes survey application is extremely useful. You can install NVIDIA drivers in there. Very, very, very useful. How about MX Linux? MX Linux is also a Debian based. Very stable, very lightweight. It uses XFCE. It's also come pre-installed. Uh, no, this one doesn't come pre-installed with uh, NVIDIA driver. But after you update the system, you have the uh, NVIDIA button that allows you to just click and install. And there are a lot more. Uh, like uh, recently, Catchy OS is also doing the same thing with KDE. Uh, when you install Catchy OS, everything is already installed for you because nowadays. This kind of distro is trying to compete in the gaming world. So, like Nobara, if you are, if you want to install a .exe or Windows file, it just works. For example, like I have a file here. Uh, 
I show you uh, this application, which is the Asset Studio that I'm trying to mod some of the um, game uh, from window. You just right click and it work. It just run and and work. You can install certain application. You it, in fact, I'm using Blender uh, on Linux. I can also install Blender on Window and it work. So this is the kinds of distro that you need. Uh, Nvidia driver uh, pre-install or uh, AMD driver pre-install like one that I mentioned to you like Nobara, Pop OS, um, X Linux, uh, Linux Mint, uh, or Manjaro as well. You see it work. Manjaro, um, um, X Linux. This kind of distro is the one that you need. Even though it doesn't come pre-installed like Nobara and Pop OS, but like um, X Linux, it it has a button. When you type Nvidia or you type driver or you type hardware or whatever something like that it will pop it will detect the uh, graphic card of your system uh, whether it's amd radeon or whether it's nvidia and then you just install and the rest of the code it can be installed later so these are the kinds of distro that you need for your uh, main for your work if you are a distro hopper i don't know you may hop from one distro to another and it doesn't show you anything it doesn't give you anything it just make you excited make you thrill about the new release make you thrill about this and that if you are a serious distro hopper every time you switch to another distro you should buy a new hardware as well just like uh, linux towel he said to himself that he loved fedora the most and he often changed the system he often changed his computer two or three times a year because of the update of the fedora so in, in in this example i'm trying to show you that it, it is important for you to be clear about linux distro not to be a distro hopper if you really want to use uh, linux as a daily driver use whatever that works for you if you want the most stable if you want the most stable the rock solid and doesn't crash use alma linux or use rocky linux those two are extremely stable and it's not suitable for modern hardware it's fast it's lightweight but it doesn't come pre-installed with nvidia driver you have to uh, do a lot of things but if you love something new that can pre-install with everything for you choose nobara choose pop os or choose open susa uh, tumbleweed uh, very easy to install yeah pop os open susa uh, tumbleweed yeah or you choose mx linux which is a debian base uh, based on Debian, very easy to use. Uh, it has all the things that you need. But uh, Amad Linux is notorious for uh, heating up the CPU too much. Uh, you, when you use Amad Linux, you will see that it's very fast, extremely fast, but the stress is on the CPU. So it tends to cause the CPU to become overheated. And then you have like Linux Min, which is also another Debian base as well. It can be installed with NVIDIA driver. Or maybe you try uh, Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu 2404 is also a Debian base. It also has its own NVIDIA driver pre-installed as well. Uh, and then apart from these distros, which desktop environments would you use? Because you see a lot of people online trying to show you, okay, KDE is better than GNOME. KDE gives you a lot of flexibility. KDE, it's run on Qt, makes things work. The UI doesn't miss, whatever. But because nowadays, a lot of Linux developers, especially the direction of Linux, is moving to Wayland and only GNOME that work with Wayland. Choose GNOME. I'm using GNOME uh, 45.5 on Nobara 39, which is uh, Fedora 39, in fact, but it has a lot more. And this is my laptop. Uh, yeah, Origin PC, whatever. Uh, 64 gigs of RAM, the rest is all you see, Wayland, and it worked fine. I, I, I add some add on and a lot more. Yeah, it just worked. I tried that on KDE, especially on OpenSUSE, Open Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed worked, worked pretty well, but Tumbleweed cost certain of my window application doesn't work. Uh, on Nobara, everything just worked fine. On OS, everything just worked fine. So the distro that you should need, I mean, in short, 
the distro, linear distro that you need is the linear distro that come with a video driver pre-installed or at least it has a button for you to click to install a video driver and then for the desktop environment please choose GNOME because it support Valen and it support nicely and smooth it, it might have a little bit of hiccup from the beginning but when it understand hey, 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 when it become like less strong then everything will go smoothly yep that's all from me and thank you if uh, my, my video cause some irritation or certain aspect of hurt or uh, not good feeling to any uh, user out there or any person who are this through hopper out there I would like to offer my sorry in advance and uh, I'm just trying to cut down the misleading information to the new user of Sublimix on it. Yep, thank you. Bye bye.